Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from the Body Fit Solution. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Today, we're going to learn an exercise tip and a nutrition tip to keep you healthy and strong. Now, our exercise to dip, tip today is lateral running drills. Oh, wait, don't get excited. Stay there, stay there. So we're going to learn how to do these, and we start at a modified level, and then you can increase the pace to suit your needs. All right, now why we do these? Because these muscles work on keeping our knee and ankle stable, help us with stability, agility, balance, and strength to our body and movements. All good things. So let's get started. We're going to come right back here. All right, now we're going to draw that line right down the middle, right over here. And we're going to take a foot, put it on that line, and then shift our weight to the other side. All right, now when we do that, we want our toes pointing forward, our knees are bent, and we shift our butt back. All right, now we change legs, put the other foot on that line, take the other leg out, shift your weight and down, right? Step on the line, shift and down, step and shift, right? Nice and easy, yeah? Now what we're not doing is this, all right? That's not shifting your weight. <laughs> so we're going to step on that line, shift the weight, put the weight down. All right, now you can pick up the pace with that. All right, and this is a good cardio work too, right? Do a couple, about a minute of these or so to get that heart rate up. All right, now you can also add a little hop in the middle if you want. All right, you want to always keep your abs engaged, of course. Now make sure you push those hips back. All right, or you can do it much faster. All right, make sure you're shifting that weight from one side to the other or slow it back down. All right, I'm good. I got my heart working a little bit there. Now, for our nutritional tip today, we're going to look at carb density percentage. What does that mean? Well, uh, we're, I'll tell you how to do that calculation in a minute, but why do we do that? Because it's an easy way to adjust your eating habits. And lowering that carb density helps that microbiome, you know, your gut, uh, lower that inflammation so you don't have as much cravings, no bloating, and you keep your blood sugar nice and level. And that all means a nice little girly figure, right? So that's important stuff. Now, <laughs> excuse me, the other reason why we want to do this is it's a healthy way of eating. And how we do this is we subtract the fiber from the, in, from the product, and then we divide that answer by the total weight. Of that product and that gives us a percentage. So let's look at a sweet potato for example. A sweet potato has about 27 grams of carbohydrates in it. Now I'm going to subtract four uh, grams of fiber from it. So that's what it has, four grams of fiber. I subtract it from the 27, I get 23. Now a, a cup of sweet potato has about 133 grams of weight to it. So now I'm going to take that 23 and divide it by 133, and I get 17. 17 is the number we're looking for. We want to keep our carbohydrate density percentage lower than 23, and you can squeak by at 30, but 23 is the optimum. All right, so we're going to keep lower than that. All right, so those carbs are good for you. You can fill up on that and carve your waistline all at the same time. Hey, if you want to know more information about that, I have a whole video on my website, The Body Fit Solution. So come visit me. I'd love to see you and let me know what you think. In the meantime, I want to look to see you next time at Celebrating Act 2. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.